Hello everyone, welcome to another online training. This training will cover GoGuardian basics. To access the GoGuardian website, you can select the bookmarks, CV staff bookmarks, and then select GoGuardian. You can also go to GoGuardian.com. Once you reach the page, select Sign In. If this is the first time that you're visiting GoGuardian, you will need to select the option Forget Your Password. Type the email address at sentinela.k12.ca.us and then select Reset My Password. You will receive an email confirmation and then you will be able to sign in with your new credentials. Now that you have reset your password, check your at Sentinela email. You will receive an email from GoGuardian. This is an example of the email I received when I reset my password. Once you're ready to log in, select GoGuardian.com account. Once you go back to GoGuardian, you will see the pre-populated classes in your GoGuardian dashboard. You will need to accept each class to be able to manage the classroom. If you get an error, please contact your EdTech site support. When the teacher is ready to start a GoGuardian session, they can select the tile for that classroom and then select Start Session. All of the tiles of the student Chromebooks will appear on the classroom dashboard. The students will see a pop-up indicating that they have connected and joined a GoGuardian session. The student can also go back and select the management options to see the message. They can close the message if they want or they can leave it open. Let's take a look at the various options in the GoGuardian Classroom. If you hover your mouse over the option Online, you will be able to see the students in the session. You will be able to see students that are online and students who might not be connected. We will cover scenes at a later time. You also have the remainder of the time of the session. You can also enable chat and end session. You can take a look at the various options to display the tiles. You can display them as screens, timeline, you can take snapshots, and you can also do command locks. You can zoom in and out. At this point, let's take a look at the options for the individual user or all users. You may notice that when I select the box, more options pop up. You can lock the screen unlock the screen, exclude the student, or open tabs. You also have the ellipsis icon, which will allow you to lock the student device, open tab, or exclude student. If you had enabled the chat, then you will see those options, chat with student. If you select the actual picture on the tile, you have more options. You can exclude the student, open a new tab, lock the device, and screenshot. You can also close the tab for the student, and then the student tab will be closed. Please note that there is a short time delay for the student Chromebooks to respond. To enable chat, hover your mouse over the Enable Chat button. This will enable the chat feature on the student Chromebook and also the teachers. The chat feature will only work teacher to student and student to teacher. It will not work between students. Now that you have enabled it, select the icon to chat, select the student, and then type a message. Once you send the message, the student will receive the memo. You can see that the student receives this message on their screen. They can actually move the chat icon to a different location. The student can open the chat and then reply back to the teacher.
This is a great way to communicate your expectations with students and also remind them that they are running Go Garden in the background. The chat option is very helpful and useful when you're trying to remind students to stay on task. To close the chat, simply select Disable Chat. Now the student and teacher no longer see the icon. In this example, I'm going to select the actual screen icon of the YouTube the student has opened. You can see the full details of the various tabs that the student has opened. You can select Close tab, and that closes the student's Chromebook tab. You can also choose to open new tabs. In this example, I'm going to open a new tab, and I'm going to provide a URL. This will automatically open that tab for the student. You can also choose to lock the student out. Select Lock Screen. You can see that the student screen has locked and it has the message that you have included on that screen lock. You can unlock the screen by selecting the option Unlock Screen. Now that we have covered Go Guardian Classroom, we're going to take a look at scenes. Scenes are designed to give teachers added control over student web activity during the classroom session. Select Scenes. If this is the first time you are using GoGuardian, you probably do not have pre-made scenes that you have used in the past. If you have already used GoGuardian in the past, you still have the old scenes you used to have in GoGuardian 1.0. Let's create a new scene. Add a scene, provide a name, Description is optional. And now let's take a look at the filters. This is where it gets a little tricky. I want to block YouTube. Select the URL and come back to Scenes. Paste the URL. You will need to toggle the filters. You can block everything but YouTube or you can allow everything but YouTube. This is where it gets tricky. I'm going to allow all of the websites except YouTube. This might be a little confusing for some of you. You can always come back and update this option and then save the scene. Once you paste the URL, don't forget to select Add Site. There are also pre-made lists that you can choose from. Feel free to explore these options to allow or block sites within the scene for your classroom. The tab management will allow the teacher to force open a tab on student Chromebooks once the GoGuardian session starts. For example, I want my students to access this website as soon as I run my session. I copy the URL and then paste it in the field. Don't forget to select the option to add the tab. The teacher can also manage open tabs by setting a limit on the student Chromebooks. Select the drop-down and then select the number of open tabs you will allow your students to have. You can save the scene. You can return to the classroom Select the classroom to add the scene to, go to session, and let's apply the scene. To add the scene to the classroom, select scene status change scene, and then select the scene that you want to apply in the classroom. In this example, I am selecting to block YouTube and allow all the other websites. You can see that the student view gets a blocked web page. 
and the student can no longer access YouTube. However, they can still access the other websites. I'm going to select the student screen tile to view the details. You can see, uh-oh, they can no longer access YouTube. However, they can still access Drive and they can still access the CVUHSD portal. In the student view, they can still access the CVUHSD portal and they can still access Google Drive. However, they cannot access YouTube. You can see a small icon of a face, happy face, that says YouTube blocked. When you're ready to unblock the websites, you can go back to change the scene and then select remove current scene, select none. And now the website is allowed one more time. When the teacher is ready to end the session, they can select End Session and then select the option End Session to confirm. This next part of the training will cover GoGuardian reports. Reports contain detailed records of an individual student browsing activity during the classroom session. To access reports, select Reports from the Global Navigation. To find the report, select the classroom, find individual users, and then select a date range. In this example, I will select a quick option of five days. You can see the detailed report of the user. The teacher will also receive a daily report in their email at sentinela.k12.ca.us. This is an example of an email from GoGuardian with a session summary. You can select the email and scroll down to view more detailed information. You will receive a daily summary of your GoGuardian sessions. Thank you for completing the training. I hope you have found this training helpful and informative.